Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today let's take a look at this latest The SHV Quartz The Mandalorians from The Mandalorians Yes, the reason why I mentioned The Mandalorian twice is because I thought this Mandalorian was from the Book of Boba Okay, I just realized it's actually from the Mandalorian series itself Yup, so kind of surprising because they have released I think three Mandalorian so far from that movie itself. It has been quite a bad reviews for the past three because of some issues with the accessories. But I hope this one will actually fix all that. So let's take a closer look at the box. I kind of like the way they maximize the windows here. Yeah, you can basically see everything that it comes with. Anything missing, you should be able to spot it. Yeah, so it's very, very nice. And we can also see some close-up look on his face which has been a great debate so far <laughs> a lot of people are actually criticizing this and at the side here we can see more the mandalorian over here and the stickers of quality from the tamashi nations at the other side you can see a great look of the mandalorian himself and again at the back i kind of like how they actually maximize the space fully and with all the great pictures from the promo yep it's looking very good here and this is a japan version which is why there's no sticker around it's a very clean box and yeah we have this age 15 and up not for kids and let's take him out okay before i show you the figure i'd like to show you these pictures which is right in the box and wow i think this is the first time they do something like this because usually they'll just give a plain colored uh cardboard and this time around yes this is rather nice i kind of like the way they make it like fuzzy and yet you can still see very clearly something like a 3d kind of things yeah it's very very nice i think i'm going to keep this piece Okay, so this is the Mandalorian right out of the box and I must say that I am pretty disappointed. What? Yes, the first thing, okay, <laughs> before I got him out, uh, when I opened the plastic, I can smell a very strong kerosene smell. Yes, I'm not kidding. I was expecting some, you know, fresh plastic smell, but it's kerosene. Oh, wow, I'm not sure where that comes from. And the moment I hold on him, I felt that this is feeling so cheap. As you can see, the fabric, my goodness, this is <laughs> not looking good. And the third thing is, he looks like he doesn't have any neck, okay? And then something else weird happens. This shoulder armor just pop up on its own. I swear I didn't even touch the arm. I was just holding like this, looking at why he doesn't have any neck. And this thing just pop out on its own okay and while i'm trying to oh yeah you see <laughs> i think it just came out like this and when i was trying to fix it out this thing also came out yep this piece here yep do you see that wow it's like the whole figure is disintegrating by itself this is not good this is not good tamashi what happened and this one yep this seems to be quite tightly attached i'm not sure what's wrong with this piece here it just keep popping out after i fix it on it will just come out again okay so i managed to push it back but there is no clicking sound or whatsoever i was pushing as hard as i could before i break it <laughs> while this review is going on i'm pretty sure you'll see it popping out again so let's pull out this piece here let's take a look at the armor itself yes it just looks good you can see the chrome all over yeah it's very nice i just like this chrome and the helmet does looks nice but i'm not sure why it's sitting so low okay it makes him like his no neck okay and this piece here um not sure what it does but maybe it's to hold on to his spear and the belt is a separate piece yeah i kind of like that and there are some portion here i'm not sure whether is it unpainted or was it supposed to be painted and the belt this looks very good with all the uh weapons all around it yeah this looks pretty good and we have a dummy gun here it doesn't really take it out something like a leg pad or something or armor pad yep and this one looks pretty good as well yep let's take a look at the arm yeah we can see the there's a weapons here something like a missile let's take a look at the bag there's some big holes here i think it's for holding on to some accessory i'll take a look at it later and this kit nevertheless there is no um bendy wire or whatsoever it's just one piece of cloth and let's take a look at the helmet yes it just looks very good with all the chromes yeah you can see how shiny it is yes very very nice there and oh my goodness can you see that 
Wow, I just noticed that there's even a hole on it. My goodness, what is this, Tamashi? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so let's move on to the articulation. I hope this part doesn't disappoint me. And let's start with the head. He can look to the right, to the left, no issue. Looking up, yes, pretty good, pretty good there. Yep, and looking down, yep, not too bad, not too bad. He can tilt his head a little, yes. There's a butterfly joints inside here. And let's see, yep, 360 degree. No problem, they said, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, there's an arm shivers, as you can see, and a double joint elbow, yep. And his hand is movable. And there's two point of articulations right over here, so his waist can turn, yep. Uh, kind of limited though, not very big turn. And the other articulation under his torso, yep, you can see that it can move as well. Pretty limited again, see how... Mm, not very much, not very much there. Can't really bend forward. Bending backwards, yeah, slightly better. Yeah, let's see how well he can... Oh, okay, he can't really reach 90 degrees there. Wow, this is bad. I think it's because of the armor. Okay, let's see how well he can kick back. Oh, he can't really kick backwards as well. How about a split? Ah, yes, yeah, split. Not too bad because this piece here is movable as well as the gun holster. Yep, there's a shivers underneath the legs. Double joint knee, I believe. And the legs can move around and there's a toe hinge as well. And next, I'll move on to the accessory whereby I think this Mandalorian will trump because he does come with quite a lot of things. So let's start with the hand. As we can see, he does come with a closed fist hand that's on the figure already. A pair of relaxed hands, a pair of open palms hands, two right gun trigger hands. As you can see, one is with the smaller holes and one is with the bigger one. So I think it's for holding on to different guns. A pair of closed fist hands with the hole for him to hold on to the spear. And lastly, another left hand just to hold on to Grogu maybe. And next, he just comes with this spear here and you can see that it's rather chrome so it's very very nicely and it's rather sharp so be very careful about it. He just comes with a handgun which I'm glad that it's not pink and he just comes with this rifle gun which looks very very cool. Wow, the details are pretty good on this gun as you can see. This is nice. It just comes with these three tiny accessories which I will show you guys how to use it later. And also this empty gun holster and my favorite effects pass over here which is very very cool. As you can see it looks translucent over there. Wow this is nice. And this is everyone be asking for a jetpack. Finally we get him with a jetpack. This is rather nice. Wow as you can see it's being chrome very very nicely is very very shiny as well and of course he just comes with this effects pass for the jetpack to interchange and how can we miss grogu with the sling bag this is very very nice additions i kind of love these ones and last but not least his unmasked head let's take a closer look now and wow i think it looks rather good some of you guys are saying that he's having a cross eye but mine just seems to look very nice i mean I can really see the actor right over here and this is nice I mean even the paint looks good he doesn't look pale or whatsoever so as you can see the SH Freakwad doesn't disappoint us with the amount of accessory for this Mandalorian so wow I think this is what is making my money worth right up next I'm going to try on the accessory onto this guy here and this is one figure which we really need to look into the instructions manual <laughs> yes i'm not kidding because there's a lot of things that like especially the tiny tiny thing that i, I show you guys just now i have absolutely no idea what it is meant for until i look into the instructions manual which provides lots and lots of information as you can see so let's get it on and i'll try on the simplest one which is to interchange his hand okay so this is nothing new so all you need to do is just pull off his hands and just snap back any hands that you want to and i'll do it for this right hand as well because i'll like to try on how to put on his gun okay so this is the gun trigger hands with the smaller hole so i'll pull on this gun over here which is the handguns yep the one that i say i'm glad that it's not pink yeah, so you just need to put on like this. And with him holding on to his gun already, you can actually take off this gun holster with the guns and replace it with the empty holster. Just as simple as this. Next, I'm going to show you how to attach this rifle onto his back. But before that, you will need to break this into two. And you need to use this little piece here, put it right through and connect the guns back, okay? And after that, you will need to remove this tiny piece as well. 
Yep, it's a very very small piece that just don't misplace it. And next, all you got to do is to connect the rifle to the belt here. The one that I say, I'm not sure what is it for just now. Yep, so once you connect it, it should look like this. And I must apologize to Kamashi Nation because this hose here is intentional, okay? It's not a mistake or defect. Yeah, because you need to go through this piece here to go through the, the cape. Yep, like this. And then you need to connect it to this hole over here okay so this is how it works wow okay so it's rather rather complicated i would say yep so just need to connect it six hours later okay so this is a rather bad idea because it's really hard to do and as you can see i have removed this piece i tried to actually connect it to the hole but it doesn't really go in. I mean, it keeps popping out as you can see. It's, oh yeah, you see, if I have to push very, very hard, then it will stuck there. So my take is you connect this piece first, don't connect it to the rifle, and then maybe just go through the hole like now, and then you put it onto the rifle. <laughs> yeah, I think this way will be much, much easier and more uh logical to do it okay so it's it's not it's not the right way it's not the way that they 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 tell us to but i think this way is much easier this is the way let's see if it works this time one minute 37 seconds later okay so finally finally i get it to work okay so this is how it looks like yep going through the cape over here and this piece yep just like this and yep you can have him <laughs> holding on to the rifle but it's a very very tough job to do so this is really not a very good engineering i would say if you don't want to have this piece here tangling around you can even remove it okay so this is the best part of it okay so let's remove everything yes it's a hassle this tiny piece that we see just now okay let's see how well it actually fits inside okay again it's a very tiny piece Yep, so it's going to look something like this. And in order for him to hold on to the spear, you just need to slide it through the holes on his hands here. Slide it through like this. And they even provide you this hook right over here that you can just put on the spear and then have it to connect to the back. Just like this. Yep, just attach it to his back and then you can have him with the spear like this. Okay, so it looks pretty cool with the spear behind him as well and next i'll show you how to put on this very nice effects onto his left arm you just need to pull this thing off yep and then just connect it as simple as that wow this is really really nice looking and next i'll show you how to put on the jetpack which is rather simple you just need to connect it like this yep and you need to move on the cape to the side remove these two portions here yep to interchange with the blasting effects this is looking very very nice here wow just look at this this is very cool yeah just the <laughs> the cape will be slightly weird so i've tried to actually put it through the holes but it will look even more weird i'll show you why it looks like this yep it's rather weird <laughs> as well <laughs> and the last one is Grogu. Okay, how can we miss out this beautiful piece? Let's take a closer look. Wow, I think he just looks very very good. It's very nicely done and there are some articulations on the hands. Yeah, both the hands. Can he move his head? Yeah, he can even move his head. This is nice even though it's... Oh, <laughs> they even have his tiny feet below. Yep, very nice and of course I'm going to connect him to this sling bag or pouch. Okay, so you need to take off the head. What? <laughs> and put it into the pouch and it looks like he's inside the bag yep looks pretty weird but <laughs> it works i mean this really works and then you just need to sling it over his arm so this one looks rather good and last but not least let's interchange the head okay yep just pull it off like this very easily and then just connect the unmasked head yeah i think this looks pretty good with the grogu next to him and yeah this face is really looking 
awesome i would say yeah just take a closer look on it yeah this is probably the best thing about this figure together with grogu if you are enjoying the video so far i hope you'll click on the likes button this is the way okay so for the size comparison i'd like to compare him with some sh figure star war that i have so i have the luke skywalker over here as well as this anakin of course the rope is custom and next i also have the red storm trooper yep well which looks bigger than him as well as this dark maul which is my favorite by far let's also compare him with some marvel legends i have the iron man mark 85 wow which looks like a giant next to him and also this deadpool which is also bigger than him and next let's compare with some mafex i have carnage right over here which of course bigger than him and also dead shots wow they are looking very much taller than him and next we'll have some masco batman sovereign knight over here which is no doubt bigger than him as well as dead stroke okay this is my favorite masco so far yep they are all bigger than him <laughs> And last but not least, let's compare him with Mayfax Mandalorian, the only one that I have before this guy. Yep, so as you can see, he's taller than he is. Okay, my final verdict for this Mandalorian is going to be a 6 out of 10. Yes, the reason why I'm giving him such a low score is because, uh, first of all, I just don't like it when things started to fall off by itself and even worse, it fall off on its own. I didn't even touch it or whatsoever. And the best part is, the effects parts that I like, the one that is shooting out, it's not even meant for this arm. It's meant for the left arm. So I'm not sure why this is more tighter as compared to this one keep falling off for no other reasons. Okay, so I don't mind if this fall off, if there's a, another effects part to put on. Yeah, that makes sense. But this part isn't meant to for anything. And putting on the rifles behind him is so hard to put it on and it's so easy to just fall off. And the moment that you put on the little things, which is this thing here, and then you just try to connect it to the back and sooner or later, I just noticed that the rifles begin to bend. I mean, it's not a good sign because you can see that the joint is rather, rather small and I'm not surprised if some of you guys might actually break this one when trying to attach to the back. So this is not a very good engineering, I would say. And the jetpack is a good accessory for him. But unfortunately, when you put it to the back, it just looks weird with the cape on. I think the only best thing about this figure here is the Grogu as well as the Amas head of the Jarin, which I think looks pretty good. This is again a plus point. If you're looking for a Mandalorian figure, is this one good enough to get? Or the Mayfax one, I'm not so sure because that have its own problem as well. But at the meantime, yeah, I do think that this is one that is looking pretty good with the Grogu and he does come with a lot of things. Yeah, so if this is the Mandalorian you're looking for, then go ahead and get this guy. So I do hope you enjoyed this review so far and I'll catch you again in my next video. At the meantime, you can watch this video right over here.